Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Multiverse Core and I'm going to be explaining most of the features about it, how to put your own world in, how to create your own world, how to clone a world and all that type of stuff. But first of all, I'm going to show you how you actually install the plugin onto your server. So then there is a link down in the description to the download page on dev.bucket.org and we're going to come down here, so as you see here there is over 3.5 million downloads. We're going to download the latest version as you see here. So we'll click on that. It does say 1.9, but it does work for 1.10.2. So we're going to click download. So this is quite an old plugin, but it's been being updated. I think this was uh, it was released uh, back in 2011. So now you have your plugin installed. We actually want to go and drop it into the plugins folder. I already have, so we're going to do is drop it in there. And as I'll show you, so here it is. It's already installed. And once you got it in there, all you want to do is restart your server just by doing the slash stop command in game or stop in the console here. So then we're going to actually join the server now. And we're in here, so I'm just going to quickly set the time to zero so we can have a nice daytime. And then I'm going to go with the first command. So the first command is MV, and MV will bring up the help list for you to actually see everything here. Now the first one I'm going to be using is MV create and if I actually press enter it will give you some defaults so you can recreate the normal world, the never, the end or a super flat. So I think I will just create a super flat. So we're going to go create and I'm going to call it world 2 and then we're going to go uh, normal. So yep that's right then we got to go dash T then flat. And once we got that down, all you gotta do is just wait for it to create it. And as you see here, it is actually reloaded uh, will guard as well. So it's actually made its own file, and you can see here it's loaded the wills here. So we got that installed, and how you get over there is MVTP world 2. And we are here, so this is our super flat world. And if you want to get back, we'll just do world normally. So, and that takes you to the natural spawn point of this world, what you can set in here. So let's actually reset the spawn point to this on top of the sand block. All you got to do is MV set spawn. Let me get it right. There we go. Set spawn. So I've set the spawn in uh, well, just a normal world to there now. So when I actually run MV TP world, it will take me to that sand block. And that's and you'll do the same process in the other server as well. So now I'm actually going to show you how we actually import world. So in my main directory, so you can go to your normal Minecraft folder, go to your saves and copy a world. So as you see here, I have a world called Spawn. It won't run on the server because it's not you know defined. But all we gotta do is come into game and type in MV import then we've got to spell it out then we're going to press enter and it'll give you a few more options uh, we'll just go for the normal one here so we'll just type in normal and that's going to import world and it does the same thing it's regenerated its own um, configs for world guard it's regenerated its own uh, in multiverse and we can see it's uh, done a level 4 and there's a seed for this world and we're going to get over there by doing the same tp command so mv tp space spawn and we are over here so let's actually go game mode 3 and get into this build so yep now we are in here so this is spawn world and if we fly out we'll uh, come out here and as we've got normal generation as well so yeah that is actually how you add a world uh, from your main directory so we're going to go back to spawn just using the normal spawn command and there we go so now we're here and let's say you actually want to clone a world just in case ever something ever happens so it's still again so we go mv clone and then we'll press enter and you've got to choose a target and you've got to rename it so you go mv and i want to Reclone the world what you just put in so spawn and i'm going to call it spawn one and that's going to reclone and that's cloned that world exactly so we'll go uh we'll go back over to that world so go mv clone one mvtp clone one 
What did I get wrong then? Let's have a check. Oh no, sorry, I called it spawn. So it's spawn one. Let's see if I can get right actual letters in there. And we spawn back in the same place in this world. So we can just, uh, let's go top. So as you see here, we are spawned back into this world with this build here, as you see. And if we actually say something in chat, so we just say G, it will actually pronounce what world we are in. So now I'm actually going to show you the config. So that's mainly all the commands. There is a few more, but you can explore the plugin if you wish. So just MV help to and so on. So you can TP to players to worlds, you can uh, look at worlds, you can unload worlds, reload the plugin and so on. So now I'm going to show you the configuring. So we'll go actually into the, okay, and also you'll see here, so we've got spawn, spawn one, and that's from cloning, cloning it, and we've got the world uh, two here as well. So we're going to plugins, go to multiverse core, now we're in here there's two files first of all let's say you want to get rid of this prefixing here so let's say you've already got you know your rank in front you just don't want it there very simple to fix we've got to go into here go into the actual config of here so i'm using a program called notepad plus plus there will be a link down to the description for it and you need to actually look for the chat prefix format here or you can actually turn it off here so you know we can actually just make this go false and i normally just like to actually just get rid of it just in case so now we have nothing in front and nothing will mess up so we'll actually save it go back onto the server and we'll go slash mv reload that's going to reload everything i am falling and i died but never mind let's uh, go back and now if we actually say something it has got rid of that prefix but let's actually go back into the other folder. So there is another folder called worlds. And now this is where all these settings are kept. So we have world 2, spawn 1, spawn, world. So this is actually the normal world, what is default by Minecraft, uh, the end. And the never end. You can change quite a lot of settings around here. You can change the spawn locations. Now there are commands to do this in-game as well called the modify. So... Uh, for example, let's say you wanted to change the permanent game mode of one world. So instead of changing it in the folder, so if we look at here, so here we go, this is game mode. So let's say I wanted to change world 2, uh, game mode to a creative, let's say. I can do it in game or you can do it in file if you wish. It depends how you preference it. Sometimes if you're doing a lot of worlds, a lot of configuring of worlds, it's easy to do it in the config because it can be quicker. But I will show you the MV modify. So this is a modify command. So I'll finish it off. And I normally just use set. I don't normally add values. I just set them or remove them. But we're going to set. Then we're going to actually uh, define what we want to set. So we want to actually f to set game mode. And I'm going to set game mode 1 in world. Uh, we'll go world 2. If I can get the right spelling right, right around. So will two. Now when I enter will two, I'll actually be set to game mode one. And as you see, I can fly around. And as also we can turn it off as well. So we can go we can actually set it to game mode two. So now I'm in adventure mode. So I can't break blocks or anything. We can set it into game mode three. And now in spectator and so on. So that is the pretty much oh, oh, most of this uh, plugin. So it's very useful if you want multiple worlds on your server, so it uh, so you can actually make more places to play. So you know you can have a mini game world, a survival world, maybe even a factions world. It's all about setting it up properly and so on. So then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you like the video, share it, favorite, go follow me on Twitter, and as always, please suggest your comments down below. I love to hear your feedback and um, make make sure you suggest your plugins what you'd like me to do next. Right then, guys. Bye bye.